What's up y'all, it's your girl Coco and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can become one of the members because we just what's going on. So yeah, a couple weeks ago I asked you guys to give me some questions on Instagram and I will answer them on here. And most of the questions was repetitive, just like in different, you know, just, they was the same question, just different, just worded different, basically. So, most of the questions consisted of lashes, and then just me, as far as like school and managing and how, or whatever like that. So, I'm going to give y'all some tips on lashing and school. So, without further ado, go ahead and let's get started. Without further ado, we're gonna jump straight into this video and answer and get it done. It was a bunch of, it wasn't even a bunch of questions, just the same questions over and over and over and over, but we're gonna get right to them, regardless. So, boom. first, let me find it because I'm not gonna cap. This was a couple, when I say a couple weeks ago, I mean like a month ago. So, I need to find my quick hold on. I should have had this before I even started vlogging, but I wasn't prepared. I'm like, let me just get up and get shit done today. Because I promised y'all this, and here it is. Okay, found it. So, the first question was, what made you want to do lashes? Okay, so what made me want to do lashes was basically just, I had already had my lip gloss business, and I just wanted to like expand, you know? I wanted to add a little twist to it, a little more to it, more income, more something that I was a, a big service basically like a a beauty service that is popping and lashes is popping at the moment if you know then you know like I just started getting my lashes done and I'm addicted already so I, I get it and so I took a class or whatever that's another question do you feel like a class is needed to do you feel like a class is needed to start your lash business no but it is good so first i started i had went to three lash classes total i'm gonna be honest i took three my first one i think i learned this classic the basics until like i really needed some more knowledge like i needed hands-on i'm a hands-on learner you might not be a hands-on learner but i'm definitely a hands-on learner so if you feel like if you feel like you can learn visual then you know they got the books or whatever now and you could do that but me personally when i first started in 2021 summer yeah that was just like i needed that class to to give me a boost basically i needed that class to give me that that oh so yeah you don't need a class to answer your question no you don't need a class but if you're a hands-on learner then you you might want to take a class because you can actually be there to practice to see and see how can you do it because lashing is not easy lashing is a very tedious and you got to have a lot of patience that's a you got to have a lot of patience for this job this service and if you don't i'm not gonna cap lashing might not be for you so you gotta really go in there and see what you like what you don't like because you what i like you might not like what you like i might not like so you gotta really go in and see but i do feel like the class was very helpful for me like i really i learned a lot in my classes i ain't gonna cap like the classes that i took especially the, the class up in atlanta that i took it was no gatekeeping or nothing like they she told me everything like as much information as i could get like take a class take a class that's good that's the next last question was, what products should I get when starting my lash business? Okay, um, the products I started off with was Fat Lash. I'm going to put the link in the bio. It was Fat Lash. Um, the glue, it was Sky Glue. Um, I'm trying to think. Like the tweezers I had got was just the tweezers that I had already got from the class. So I didn't really start off with the specific tweezers i want to say like just whatever tweezers they had gave me within the class i had took and 
yeah but i moved on to all love i think that's what it's called yeah all love lash trays on amazon too i got all my stuff off of amazon so i'm gonna put out links in the bio so y'all can click or whatever if you really if you want to start off with that but if not oh and then if you want to start your lash business and you want to start with the basics that i started with then i'm gonna put them in the bio so you can just go on amazon and click and see you know what you like you know how you want to get it just to start off basically but um yeah it wasn't really no pacific tweezers i used just mainly fat lash and that sky glue that was the thing and i had a dummy head of course along with ipads and glue rings the basics you know the basic stuff that you need to do a client to do the dummy to do a person so yeah i'm gonna link that in the bio next question as far as lashes goes was do you enjoy doing lashes and what's the back what would you rate your back pain i really enjoy doing lashes like lashing is my life i i fuck with lashes so much y'all like i really do love doing lashes i do and my back pain whew, i ain't gonna lie when i first started like my back pain was a 10 like i would i'm already like i'm i'm not short but i'm not tall either like i'm just i'm right there so hunched over and then being like a cheerleader and everything at the moment like i really was my back was fucking i was tore up my back was really 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 tore up but i think it's all in the posture i ain't never really had good posture anyway so now i think it's starting to kick in you know i'm starting to get used to it it's a big adjustment for me now like i'm able to like lean over but i got a good chair to where like when i do need to lean back i can so the back pain i would rate it um maybe like a four maybe like a five i would give it half and half because some days i do it still to this day have my days to where like my back be hurting but not as bad so yeah i think it's all in the chair all in the posture all in you know how you see you feel me so yeah next last question and final last question was how much do you make a week doing lashes i don't think that question is really like <laughs> i don't know y'all like i don't know um i don't know like me personally i'm back and forth like i go home to do lashes i do lashes up here like i don't have and this is something that i want to work on with myself like, i want a professional i want my my lash business to be professional right now it's really just get it and go as far as money goes the money is there but don't do lashes for the money you feel me don't don't do lashes for the money like if you want one set area you know you got to really put yourself out there you're gonna get there so don't do it for the money don't worry about how much money i make she make or they make you gotta really be wanting to like really love this specific beauty job in this industry to even go up there so don't worry about the money but the money is there i'm telling you the money the money there. like I'm doing these girls lashes I'm really eating their lashes you know I'm learning as I go because you can never have too much information like I'm still learning to this day like I can have like five clients in one day the next day I can have one like I'm just I need I need as many clients as, as I can get because I'm back and forth I'm city to city like I want to be on my platform as big as it can go and in order for me to do that, I really gotta be more professional. Like, I'm 20 years old. One minute I'm up here in Clayton County, next minute I'm in Augusta. So being back and forth is just like, sometimes it really do get hectic. But when they need these lashes done down here, I have it set. So we're on the weekends, okay, I'm gonna be there this weekend and I'm gonna be up here throughout the week. I might miss this weekend, stay up here this weekend, like that. So as far as Lie, you gotta look cold in this mug. Cold. I 
ain't gonna tie myself up. Just give me a little. Okay, boom. So now we finna jump into the school question. This one right here is for my school girls. It ain't easy, but boom, here we go. So the first question is, how do you maintain school lashes in life, especially not going to school in Augusta? Okay, like I um really just said, going like managing is like uh, I'm working on it. I ain't gonna cap. Like some days I'm up and I'm ready and I'm active. Most days, like I just I just I can't get out the bed because it's a lot. Like I'm two hours away from home, Augusta. Like you said, not going to school down there and. That's that's so much gas. That's first. That's gas. School. I got classes. And my schedule for class like is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Fridays is the days that everybody want their lashes done for some apparent reason. And that's the day I got class. So not only am I missing a little coins when I'm not at home, is I gotta still wait to get out of school and go two hours away. So the two hours that I'm on the road, they probably be done found somebody else by this time because like I said, the professionalism, like as far as like my website goes, my website keep getting shut down and shit. Like it's just, it's just being real aggravating right now. But managing like, I, I have to pray to really get through because I'm still learning as I go. You know, like nobody in my family really like are real business owners. so. They, I don't have nobody to guide me when it comes to this business. Like everything I do, I'm learning as I go. So, school and lashes, like I try not to clash in with both, but sometimes we do. Like, and what I mean by like being professional, again, like I would do lashes till like two, three o'clock in the morning if you need your lashes done. But knowing I gotta get up for school, get up for class at ten, you ain't got no sleep. Now you tired, about to fall over in class because. He ain't managing right. So that's just one of the biggest problems that I have. Like, I really don't, it's the time for me. I don't, the timing is it's not good for me right now. And that's something that I really, 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 really gotta work on. But I'ma get there, so, yeah. Next question. Where do you see yourself five years from now? <sighs> five years from now, I see myself graduated with my degree in health science. I see myself with a warehouse full of like lip gloss, my lashes, like a big old warehouse with a shop in it though. And like a shop, like a business owner. I see myself one of the biggest business owners and one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. Not gonna okay. cap, like I see it, but I just really gotta achieve it. So I see myself really shitting in life in five years like I really just gotta put in the work like I procrastinate so much I feel like I'm supposed to be way farther than what I am right now but I got time I really do I got time but but not that much time so because look how April just passed us by before we know it five years gonna be and got here so I'm really crunching down on myself like it's really crunch time like five years from now I want to be one of the biggest like Hunter feel like the biggest oh yeah i want to be one of the biggest so next question is what are some things that keeps you motivated and this girl she go to my school so you know what i'm about to say prayer we you know we gotta pray to get through this especially school like praying really do keep me motivated like if i don't talk to god and i mean talk like god da, 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 da. I have to talk to God to really get through because if I don't talk to God, then I I be having bad days. I ain't gonna catch you. I don't know how some people get without talking to God like, or even praying at least because that's the number one thing that keeps me motivated. Like I be like, Cole, you know you cannot do this without God. You cannot get through this without God. So you gotta lock in with God to get through anything. That's how I feel. Like you really do. That's what keeps me motivated. Like I really do. I be locked in with God. Like. I be locked in with God and some days though I that's what I mean by like being lazy procrastinating like cause some days I don't 
I ain't gonna lie to you. I might tell you a joke, but I never tell you a lie. Some days I don't have, I don't have good, a lot of days, I don't have good days, but I really do have to stay motivated by praying and like my family, like I wanna be one of the ones that like take care of my family, like nobody gotta work. I wanna be the one to handle everything, like I wanna be the head hunter of the family, like. And as of right now, like, I really like, I'm a family person. Like, I love being around my family. I love being around good people. I love being around people that, that's just like me. Like, you like the joking face, so do I. Like, you, you wanna lock in, me too. Like, I like to be around good vibes. Like, that motivate me. I like to be around people who have more than me too. Like, I don't never hate on nobody who don't got, I don't never hate on nobody who got more than me. Like, I wanna get, I wanna get up with you. So, I think that's what a lot of people fuck up at. Like, you hating, you hating on somebody who got more than you, but you just need to work to get there. That's all. You gotta not do what they do, but you need to do what you need to do so you can get up there too. Like, ain't no reason to be hating, unmotivated. Like, it's enough money for everybody. Everybody gotta get it. That's what lashes like. As far as like other lash girls, other lash girls really motivate me, especially the ones that who got this nice shop, this just got it, like, big clientele, celebrity clientele, like, I wanna get up with them. Ain't nothing they doing making me hate on them, like, nothing the next person do should make you hate, like, that shit should really motivate you, like, people who got more than me, more than me, motivate me. That's it. Next question is, how is school at a PWI? <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, being at a PWI is not the best. It ain't the best. I do feel like I'm supposed to be at an HBCU, but I got other plans. It's still HBCU activities around me if it's just that serious that I can go to, but I do feel like sometimes it's boring. It is boring. Should have more activities, more more activities, more stuff to do, more engaging, like, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm comfortable, especially with the housing. The housing is just the best, like, my my room is like my comfort room for me, especially like days after class, like days I don't wanna be bothered, like, my room is like my go-to, so, the housing at the PWI, honey, I ain't got no problem, no beef with the, the place where I stay, A1, so. Other than that, like cheering and everything, it was all just a, it's all been a journey. Like I can't really judge it how I want to. It's all been a journey and I feel like me praying and really just staying up, staying motivated, getting up, having some get up by myself really gets me through. So that was it. Like I said, most of the questions was repetitive and you know, just in different formats. I didn't really have a lot of questions, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed the questions that I did. Just answer. And now it's a little hot. I don't know y'all, it's a little hot now. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video because I answered mostly everything you guys asked me and I hope to do another Q and A and yeah, get out with me.